Dave Johnson, Junior Claims Representative for Aperture Science here. Well, former Junior Claims Representative. Just found out I got laid off. Well, I'll just sneak into their recording office and let everybody know our president, that creep Doug Ratman, is embezzling funds. Enjoy your Christmas bonuses knowing he took most of them, jerks. <laughs> All right, then. Hello and welcome to the walkthrough. Um, first thing we gotta do is we just land right here and it's gonna rise up. And then we gotta get into the light bridge and this is the way I do it. I just jump down through the portal like that. And we need to get this cube. Probably just grab it off the light bridge. And you can bring it to the button you're about to see right there. And there's a button uh, down near the goo and we need to put it right there. Here, put it there, stick it there, and that's going to open up the access for us to the rest of the light bridge. <coughs> of course, we can't get past it with the laser grid right there, so the button disables, disables it for a few seconds. Bam. I have eight seconds to get through here. As, as you see by the timer right there. Alright, I'm through, I'm good, I don't need to access that area for the rest of the game. Okay, first thing I do is we get this reflection cube that keeps falling over here. And... There it is. Nope. Try again. There we go. Take that and just... Yeah, jump down there. I'm gonna light this up. That'll access the second platform down here. But that's useless if we don't uh, deactivate the first one. And how we deactivate that is by uh, pushing a button on top of the box up there. I actually managed to kill myself while making the walkthrough. Crap. So we're just going to continue from right here. Uh, that little splashing sound is actually a glitch in the game. It's, that wasn't supposed to play. So we need to get inside this box right here because that's where the button is. Push the button. And get out. Alright. Okay, watch out for these turrets here. They're, they're the... They're what's stopping you from, from getting to the exit. They just love shooting me. I forgot what I was doing here. Yep, yep, they're shooting me again. Alright. Now that we have access to the blue gel over here, we're just gonna sh shoot it up into the chamber up there so that it hits the turrets and bounces them around. And as long as they're bouncing, they can't aim and hit me. You don't need to shoot at each individual one, they'll eventually take each other out. <laughs> take that. Yeah, take that. Ugh. It's fun to watch. Okay, our goal is to get just back up there real quick. This is the way I do it. This area usually gets, if you do it this way, this area usually gets flooded with um, bouncing gel, whatever you want to call it. Blue gel, bouncing gel. Free potion gel or pro potion gel. It's free potion, I think. Anyways, I use this button to reset the bridge so that stuff isn't all over it. We're taking this uh, reflection cube away because we actually need it to finish it since we don't, do not need the blue gel anymore. You're going to see a tractor beam way up there. Yep, they're bouncing around. Come on, look up. No, nope, other way. Yeah, the tr tractor beam up there. You need to get up there and put that cube up there. But first, need to activate it by pushing that button. Boom. Alright, it's active. Now, just stick the cube up there. And... We're good! In testing, I managed to kill myself twice from right, from right here. Yeah, twice. Right next to the exit, too. And that's how you beat a uh, portal paradox. I hope you give it a try. <laughs>